Top Boy ended <clears throat> in 2013. What's happened and how did we get to where we got to now? Um, so we, we had two seasons on Channel 4 in 2011 and 2013, uh, four episodes each. Uh, we were gearing up for a third season, uh, but it was suddenly cancelled. And, you know, as a writer, you just, uh, you have to, you get disappointed about these things, but you shrug and you move on. And which is what we did. We were, Charles and I, who were partners from the start on this, were, you know, very upset about it. Uh, we really, you know, we couldn't understand the decision, but you, you have to continue. And then uh, two, three years later, um, Charles called me one day and he said, well, there's uh, uh, Drake. Um, <laughs> who, <laughs> and I, you know, it's, it's embarrassing. I didn't know who he was. Uh, <laughs> Drake uh, is interested, loved the show. He really loved it. He saw it, he loves it. And um, he wants to, you know, he wants to talk. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of talk in the entertainment industry and, you know, most of it never goes anywhere. Mm -hmm. So I didn't really pay a lot of attention to it. But a little later, Charles and I and our partner, Ali Flynn, met, uh, met Drake in London and his interest was genuine and he was passionate about the show. I'd Googled him since then. Uh, <laughs> and in the form of asking my children who he was and uh, they... they um, I, I, I appeared very uncool in front of them, not knowing. Uh, and that was it. And really, Drake kind of um, got us with that, that conversation led to a conversation with Netflix. And, and everything went really smoothly since then. So you, Charles and Kane, original cast, original crew. How does it feel to come back? It feels, it feels good, man. It's like... Um... I can probably speak for me and Ashley, you know, ever since the, you know, there was, there was no, the show was no longer. You crack on with your life, but I guess unlike Ronan, <laughs> me and Ashley would just be seen on a daily basis and just bugged and bothered and it just got to the point where it's like, oh my God, oh, these people are never going to forget about this show. They're never going to forgive us if we don't do this ever again. And it's a, it's a weird thing. I thought it would have you know, died down after a few years. And it's like, I don't know, just the, the want for it just grew every single year, you know? So when me and Ashley first heard about it, again, it was something that we didn't really, you know, believe was gonna happen. And um, when we realized the talks were kind of serious and, um, you know, we was, we was excited and, you know, keen to get, you know, stuck in again, but really, um, you know, we, we wanted to make sure that the show was going to be made with the, you know, the, the same, you know, same intent and, you know, kind of by the same people. Um, I was hearing a lot of talk about, you know, uh, a wider market and whatever, but we um, was really conscious about not trying to make a show to purposely try and appeal to a wider market, just yeah. stay as true as possible because I think that's what permeates and that kind of truth and that genuineness is really why the world kind of ended up loving Top Boy. So, you know, we just wanted to stay true, but we were so excited to, you know, hear what Ronan had written and get stuck into scripts and things like that. So authenticity, I think, is one of the big fears that the fans have had because <laughs> they hear Drake, they know America, Canada, they hear Netflix, they think it's going to go elsewhere. We'll come back to that in a second. Little Sims and Michael, two new faces. How did it feel to be asked to be part of something so authentic and raw? Um, well, we were speaking about this when we've been doing other bits, but like, I remember going into school and t it was a top where that was the topic of discussion. That's what everyone was talking about. It was like, you go in, and it's like, oh, did you watch the last night's episode or whatever it was? So, like, I guess we grew up with knowing how important this show was and how we just felt like there was finally something on television that represented us and our story. So, yeah. for me, getting that call was, like, a blessing to, to, to contribute and to be a part of it. And we're telling um, the stories of, of, of real people, you know? Yeah. For me, I was just a big fan from, from day, really. Like, mm -hmm. I'll never be shy about saying that. And also, I tweeted, like, in 2013, I can't wait for it. It's just something that we all loved, literally. And when it, when it happened, 
I just couldn't believe it. And then when I was filming it, it just felt surreal. Actually seeing people like Kane on set and Ash, it was just weird. It just didn't feel real. Even now, that like, <laughs> it just doesn't feel real. But yeah, man, I'm about to see. Because since you came in, <clears throat> thanks to Kane. Yeah. <laughs> Tell yeah. us how that happened. Yeah. Um, Maybe just find out. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, you want to tell us how? Uh, Ronan can probably. <laughs> <laughs> well, we met. Well, you could. You want to... <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, Ken came round to the house just as we were kind of, you know, thinking about the new season and planning the storylines and characters and, you know, where were they going to be six, seven years on? And Ken said to me, um, you know, there's this singer, Little, little Sims, who, of course, I had I'm heard I'm sure of. I didn't say singer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, uh, <laughs> what did you say? Yeah, probably. Performer, rapper. Rapper. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. Um, uh, okay. Um, <laughs> And he just said, look, you've got to see her. She's great. And, uh, and we did. And that, and that was it. Mm. And it's crazy because I even remember like going in to, to play Kane, my new album. And by this time, I auditioned and stuff. And I said to him, like, I'm really nervous. Like, I don't know if it's my hand. And he knew, like, <laughs> I'd had it. But he just he was like, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, <laughs> he held it yeah I was told not, not to tell you. But um, <laughs> <laughs> but, but Ali did phone me and, in, and he said, like, Sims just smashed it and smashed the audition to the point. Um, I think they, they offered her a different role to what you know they initially was thinking about you know a, a bigger role and and her character just like grew from there due to her her talent you know what I mean? and it is an interesting dynamic i've been lucky enough to see the first four episodes i can't say anything i've <laughs> written and uh, signed an nda but it is a really interesting dynamic we're going to switch gears slightly because we want to talk about the authenticity because this kind of show is so real, it's been in the news of late. Came for you um, as a returning cast member, how do you feel that the story plays out to what is actually going on in the streets? Uh, yeah, I think Top Boy's always um, been good at touching on, you know, the current day situation and climate and, and you know, representing a community that's kind of, you know, may feel like they're unheard. Mm. Um, yeah, so it, it, it's always like great when I when I read things and I'm like, oh, okay, what's going on? Or oh, I can't say certain things right now. <laughs> but um, yeah, certain things that happen in the script that I, you know, we know is going on out there in the streets today, um, just makes Top Boy just different to the other shows out there. Mm. And when we speak to people of the community and they, you know, they respect what we've done and they appreciate the truth that we're telling. And no one's like, nah, man, that was fake and it wasn't that, you know what I mean? It's like all love, like everyone you speak to, um, it's just like, nah, you represented well. Mm. To us as actors, like, that is what it's about, you know what I mean? We're just trying to tell truth. At the end of the day, Top Boy is a show. It is for entertainment, but it's rooted in reality, you know? And that's what we just try and do 